Hello everybody on the VC, uh, Dark Dove, back again for another um, vinyl update for you. Uh, so it's Friday, um, beautiful day today, uh, nice and sunny. Uh, so I've picked up quite a lot of um, new stuff since my last video update, so I've decided that I'm going to uh, do two separate videos. Uh, this, so this is part one. Uh, next part I might possibly put up tomorrow or in the next few days but uh, this video is going to entirely consist of um, vinyl from well, two different genres um, uh, jazz so I have my jazz pile here of recent acqu acquisitions and um, and folk uh, so jazz and folk and um, I must say, uh, I'm going to start with the folk stuff. Um, uh, I must give a mention to um, Ben Costello, who has largely kind of been responsible for turning me on to a lot of um, folk stuff. Uh, it's a genre which I maybe might have taken a bit for granted in in, in the past. Um, wouldn't have had a lot of it in my collection, but um, but I've rectified that uh, uh, recently, and so. I'll start off with um, a very interesting find which I made in a charity shop. Uh, for those of you who are maybe, maybe in the States who aren't familiar with charity shops, they're basically just kind of, they're just shops there where people donate unwanted items and um, secondhand goods and the proceeds then go to charity, you know, so each charity shop represents a different different charity uh, a lot of them have records um, you know but, but it's rarely that you find anything interesting but um, I picked up this um, this is a folk compilation album called a jug of punch broadside ballads old and new um, now it states that it is sung by British folk singers, but actually a lot of them are Irish as well. So it's British and Irish. Um, included here are um, this. It features um, Shirley Collins, uh, uh, well-known uh, English folk singer. Um, Oh, go, 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 go. Who else is in there now? Um, Seamus Ennis, Ennis um, uh, known Irish folk musician. Um, it's um, this came out in 1960. Uh, this is an original mono copy, and it is on uh, HMV, and it is. The Nipper the Dog, um, his master's voice. Uh, now this this album actually it's it's it goes for quite a lot um, online, and um, it's in perfect condition. Um, both the the record itself and the and the sleeve are really in excellent condition. But I picked it up for three euros and fifty cent. So, which was which was which was a, a great bargain because I think in I think in mint condition it goes for around thirty euros possibly, or some some something around that I think. So uh, so it was an excellent find. Um, uh, it might be interesting just to point out some of the, some of the songs on it. Um, uh, there's a song on here which I know Ben Ben you're a big boxing fan you'll appreciate this. Um, oh. The Sugar Ray, the Sugar Ray Robinson, Randolph Turpin fight, which is exactly as it says on the tin. It is about um, a boxing match from 1951 uh, during the great Sugar Ray Leonard. Uh, so, and there is also uh, a song "Football Crazy," which I know Ben you'll appreciate as well. Um, and um, yeah, so there's, there's some there's some great stuff on here, some great um, folk tunes 
and, uh, and again it's it's in great condition and it's um, it's quite a collectible album and it was a great bargain to get it for three euros and fifty cent um, a great art book as well I love I love that cover um, okay moving on um, Right, the Dubliners, um, an Irish ballad group, uh, very, very famous. Um, I haven't previously owned any of their records because, um, well, basically you hear them on the radio all the time. You're kind of, there's no kind of escaping them here in Ireland, you know, they're, they're a, an institution. Um, but I haven't previously had any of their records, uh, or either on CD or vinyl. So I picked up this. This is another charity shop find. Um, the Dubliners in Concert. Um, it's originally, it was recorded in 1964. I think this is a reissue from maybe 1970. Um, now the Dubliners, uh, they were quite hard living, quite hard drinking kind of characters. Uh, out of all these guys in the picture, only John Sheehan is still alive. Um, Ronnie Drew is no longer with us. Uh, Luke Kelly and um, the other guys. Um, Bernie McKenna died recently, and I think is that Kieran Burke. I think that's he's he's dead as well. Um, so you know they, yeah. So they hard living characters, hard living guys. Um, I made a very interesting double score yesterday um, in this shop here, in a record, kind of a record bookshop here in town. Uh, I previously showed you a score that I made in there of some of the Black Sabbath Vertical Swirl albums. Uh, I made it for another very interesting score. Um, now one of these albums which I'm going to show you is actually I'm going to give to Ben Costello as a VCLT uh, but um, I, I, right okay I'll, I'll just briefly show that um, the modern folk quartet um, uh, I don't want to get into too much because then um, because um, I'm going to give it to Ben so um, uh, that's on Warner Brothers uh, now the other one I'm going to show you. Um, this is by a group from England called the Black Country Tree. Uh, now, the Black Country refers to uh, the very heavily industrialised area around Birmingham. There's like a kind of a Birmingham Coventry, and um, I think. Was that a possible a big city there? Um, Wolverhampton, I think. Yeah. Uh, so, an area which was very heavily industrialized during the Industrial Revolution, and as you can see, the cover kind of refers to that here with the um, smokestacks. Um, so, this came out in 1966. Um, Transatlantic. Transatlantic Records. And again, this is a record which is. Uh, goes for quite a lot of money. Uh, I think in mint condition it might be something around 60 euros. Uh, so I, I, I got it along with the, um, the modern folk, um, the modern folk quartet. I got the two of them for 15 euros. So that was that was a nice bargain. Um, and this is an excellent record. Um, uh, my favourite song in it, I think, is um, uh, the Three Ravens, and you can you can find that song on YouTube. And I think I'm, I think you can find most a lot of the songs on this on YouTube. There's also a cover of a Bob Dylan song, um, Buttermilk Hill, and she moved through the fair, which is a, a famous Irish folk song. Uh, yes, this is excellent, and it's it's in very nice condition as well. Plays perfectly. Uh, so that, yeah, that was a good, um, that was a nice score, I think. Uh, 
so I'm very happy with that. Okay. Now moving on to jazz. Um, again, um, I largely got into jazz through my girlfriend, and I've also made a lot of interesting discoveries through the VC, through stuff that people have shown on the VC, um, people like Derek. Um, uh, so and uh, and Ben Ben Costello as well has helped to turn me on to a lot of jazz. But um, okay, and all of the records these are, I've scored these all recently. Uh, they're pretty much all from the fifties and sixties, and most pretty much all of them would be in the kind of bop, bop, bebop kind of genre. Um, I'm going to start off with uh, the day. Um, the Brubeck uh, Quartet, uh, Jazz at Oberlin, live album. Uh, this is an original UK pressing on, let's see, a label called Vocalion. This came out in the 50s, I'm not sure, maybe 1956. Uh, excellent condition. Uh, so yeah, so it's, this is, uh, as, as all, pretty much all the rec jazz records I'm gonna show you, this, these are all pretty much in the, in the bop, bebop kind of um, genre. Uh, these foolish things, Perdidio, Stardust, The Way You Look Tonight, How High The Moon, so, um, a lot of um, jazz standards uh, featured on this album. And here we go. And okay, there's another artist who I featured quite a lot before is Stan Getz, and uh, my girlfriend is a huge fan of Stan Getz. Uh, this is his first album. Uh, it's not an original pressing. It's um, a reissue from either the late 60s or early 70s. So Stella by Starlight, um, Stars Fell on Alabama. Uh, yeah, so this is a classic. You know, this is just um, classic um, uh, pop jazz. Um, album. Uh, it's on Music for Pleasure, uh, this particular this particular release. And there we go. <clears throat> now moving on. Uh, here's another classic. Uh, Herbie Hancock, Maiden Voyage, uh, classic early 60s album uh, on Blue Note. Now this is not an original Blue Note. This is actually a re French reissue from the early 80s. Uh, let's see. Uh, yep, so nice label. So um, Herbie Hancock, um, I mean, I don't really need to go into detail about him. I mean, he's you know he's probably one of the greatest living jazz um, uh, musicians. Um, he played at the Cork Jazz Festival a few years ago, but I, I didn't actually. I didn't. Much to my regret, I didn't get to see him. Um, so Maiden Voyage. Um, now, next, uh, another another classic of the genre, Charlie Parker, uh, Jazz at Massey Hall. And now this, there's some lineup, there's some lineup on this um, album. Uh, as well as Charlie Parker, there's also Dizzy Gillespie, Bud Powell, Charles Mingus. Uh, Max Roach. 
and it was recorded in Massey Hall, Toronto, Canada in 1953. And this is not a reissue, this is a reissue from the late 60s. Um, it was actually the sleeve notes in the case that um, I think it was Charles Mingus brought along a tape recorder and recorded the concert. That's that's how this um, managed to be um, recorded for posterity. Uh, so, uh, oh, also of interest is the um, the inner sleeve, which blue note again. There's now this is obviously not the or original inner sleeve, uh, but it's a blue note inner sleeve. Uh, quite torn as you can see but uh, yeah interesting all the same uh, there we go. so yeah so some very interesting finds there in the um, jazz and folk genres now I will be doing a follow-up video over the weekend, me possibly tomorrow, uh, to detail all the other stuff which I've picked up lately. So keep an eye out for that. And uh, thanks for watching, and have a good weekend, everybody on the VC.